Hey everyone, welcome back to the Splice tutorial series. I'm Ryan Harris, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips that are gonna speed up your workflow when you're editing your videos in the Splice app. So we'll hop into the app and we'll get started. All right, so I'm in my timeline here. We'll start by learning how to duplicate a clip. Just select the clip you wanna duplicate, and then search for the duplicate button and press that, and you'll see it repeated on your timeline right there. Now, if you ever want to undo something that you've just done, look in the top left hand side of your screen for the arrow and press that. It'll undo the changes that you've made. And if you ever wanna redo them, just press the forward arrow again. Now I'll show you how to replace a clip with another clip that's in your camera roll. Just select the clip you wanna replace, scroll along the bottom, look for the change button, press that, and then select the clip you wanna replace it with. Press change, and now that clip will be replaced with the one from your camera roll. A quick and useful tip if you ever want to change your aspect ratio or rename your project, just click on that little gear wheel in the left corner and you can instantly change the aspect ratio of the project that you're in right now. If you ever want to full screen your project in the bottom right corner, you'll see a little square, press that and it makes your project a full screen. As you add more effects and soundtracks to your timeline, you might find it getting a little bit busy. So for example, if I add an effect, let's say I add the chroma effect, and then I add another one on top of the glitch, and then even a third effect, another glitch on top of that, for some reason, I'm adding a bunch. You'll see here that I have three elements and they're all stacked on top of each other. To cycle between all three of them, simply just tap on the little square and you'll see a number. So one, two, three, and you can edit them accordingly that way. Another useful tool is the apply all tool. So let's say I want to add an animation to this video. I'll do a little Ken Burns where we start zoomed in and then we zoom all the way out at the end. You'll see two little check marks pop up in the corner there. If I press these check marks, it'll say apply to all. And if I click apply to all, it will then apply that effect to all the clips in my timeline and they will all have the same Ken Burns effect as this one does right here. That's all for this episode on speeding up your workflow in the Splice app. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please let us know in the comments below and also let us know any other tutorials that you might like to see. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next video.